Let's take it further now with Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, member of the Judiciary and Armed Services Committees in focus with us now. Senator, on this program, we often credit you with the term, every state is a border state. And that is becoming true That's in right. ways that those states had no idea what was coming. But it is regular fare for what they see on our southern border. That's exactly right, Harris. And every town is a border town. Every state is a border state because of the impact of this southern border. I was talking with one of our sheriffs over the weekend, and he said here in Tennessee that so many of the crimes, whether it is drugs, whether it is human trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, gangs that are in some of our cities, much of it gets tied back to the drugs and the traffickers and the human traffickers that are working with the cartels and coming across the border. But Harris, I have to tell you, these cities like Chicago and New York and D.C., where the mayors are complaining, these are the mayors that raised their hand and said, we want to be a sanctuary city. And they did that early on. El Paso mm -hmm. didn't do that. Other of these border towns did not do that. So sending these migrants, the migrants want to go to these sanctuary cities, these big blue cities. They feel like that is where they are welcomed. So if these mayors want to change what is happening, maybe they need to revisit their policies. Maybe hmm. they need to call President Biden and say, please secure that southern border. We cannot handle this influx. But it's interesting to me, and I was thinking about this this morning. Harris, you don't hear these mayors say we're concerned for what these individuals are being exposed to through the cartels, the drugs, the sex trafficking rings, the abuse of these women and children. The humanitarian crisis and what is happening to these people who thought they were going to get safe passage to the <laughs> United States, this is something that should cause the administration to say, shut this border down now. Let's do this in a more humane way and work through the legal immigration process. Listening to you say that, it is a really, really big hole coming from the left mm -hmm. on this issue that they don't talk about what the journey yes. is like to get here. The side that That's right. proclaims that it cares the most. All right, we'll move on. More election meddling from the Democrat Party now. This time, it's in New Hampshire. The state primary is tomorrow, and there are two key House seats on the line in a very important Senate seat, of course. The Wall Street Journal editorial board with this headline, Democrats for MAGA Republicans. In New Hampshire, they're helping a GOP 2020 election denier. Why that headline, you may ask? Because Democrats just dumped a pot of cash into the far-right candidate's campaign. The Dems have been doing that in hopes of picking people they think they can easily beat in the races. In New Hampshire, they're trying to help out incumbent Democrat Senator Maggie Hassan, and they're buying ads going after the mainstream GOP candidate. Watch. Lobbyists are even running his campaign. One lobbyist worked for a Chinese company owned by a Communist Party official. And Morse hired another who lobbied for a mail order pharmacy that flooded New England with opioids. Chuck Morse, another sleazy politician. So this seems so hypocritical, Senator. Democrats propping up far right GOP candidates while President Biden continues to attack those very people as enemies of democracy. Here's Vice President Kamala Harris bobbing and weaving. When you see the Democratic Party and some parts of the party funding ads to promote some of these election deniers in primaries, is the Democratic Party making a mistake here? I mean, listen, I'm not going to tell people how to run their campaigns. Uh, you know, I, I ran in terms of statewide office. Would you have I done ran, this? I so ran, would you have done this? Is this in your, is this something you'd be I'm not going to tell people how to run their campaigns. Senator. 
Well, I, I have been on the ground in New Hampshire, and I know that the people of New Hampshire know Chuck Morse. They give him a lot of credit for working with the governor and passing legislation that the people in New Hampshire wanted to see, like not teaching CRT to children in classes. They know that this is the guy that is most likely going to get that nomination and move forward to win that U.S. Senate seat. And I think that probably New Hampshire uh, citizens are going to be offended with what the Democrats are doing. And I'm so pleased to see other states and other campaigns calling this out. And it's interesting that the Democrats are choosing to waste their money on a tax hmm of personal attacks rather than supporting what they are for. Now, why would they do that, Harris? It is because what are they going to say? We brought you higher crime in the streets. We have brought you the highest inflation in 40 years. We are taking away the rights of parents to speak up about well, they what can't their children that. are taught in school. Well, they can't sell that. So what are they doing? They're going to try to go get people that they think would not win in a general hmm. election and choose that as the candidate they want to run against. Yeah, but if they knew that much about winning and not winning, they wouldn't need to play games like this. They, they would have the right tools on their side of the aisle to win. I mean, it, it seems risky, but hey, if that's where they want to spend their money, real quickly, what do you make of the, the VP staying, um, well, she's not exactly staying out of it because she did talk about running her own campaign. She's just dodging it all. She is uh, dodging it all. She doesn't want to get involved in it. And I think that more than what the VP is saying, it is interesting to see what the is Democrat Senate and congressional committees are going to say. How are they going to go back to their supporters, their donors, and say, hey, what we did was get into character assassination with these ads because mm. we think that's the only way we can win because people don't like what we're doing with taxes and inflation and an open border mm. and crime in the streets and drugs that are killing so many of our precious children. Yeah, we thought that the president, the vice president, were going to go out and tout all the uh, legislative wins that they, they have won. They've racked up here recently, yeah. some with the help of Republicans with infrastructure, um, but, but they're not doing that. Not yet, anyway. Senator Blackburn, always That's good right. to have you in focus. Thank you. Good to see you.